my beautiful people i am back again and this time around i am very much excited because i bring you guys good news as i told you guys on our previous video that this time around we are fully back on our norwegian videos so be expecting a lot of videos so in today's video guys we are going to discuss on how you can be able to work in Norway for three months without a resident permit. Guys, a lot of information that I bring to you today and the good news is that I am going to show you right here on screen on how you can be able to apply for it and to see the criteria. You are going to do it together with me. A lot of you have been asking questions about work, work, work in Norway and I deemed it fit to research and research countless times concerning jobs in Norway for foreigners and for people also in Norway here who deem it fit to work in Norway. So I was able to find this one now that I'm sharing with you guys and more has to come in your way very soon. I did this fit to share it with you guys here how you can be able to work for three months in Norway without a resident permit. Guys, that is a huge good news, I must confess. That is a very huge good news. Before I start this explanation, please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please deem it fit to subscribe to my YouTube channel on the bell like and always comment by commenting you can leave questions or ideas or videos that you would want to see next we will look into the your questions and select the ones we can be able to answer the questions and probably do the videos for you guys right here on the screen on princess Ma tv You're welcome to my program guys you're welcome to special talk moments with mama and never stop dreaming you're welcome to princess mama tv guys this is good news and please for you to understand video please watch to the end to understand the real content of this video with that you will be able to follow up and understand what the video is talking about because if you watch just half hazardly you will not be able to understand what the video is talking about and you will not be able to follow up exactly what the information we are trying to pass out in this video and also do yourself well whenever you get information like this that you're interested in always research more about them with that you have the full detail what we do is to give you a clue and present to you on what is obtainable and how you can be able to go about it about jobs in norway or schools in norway guys without wasting much of your time let's go straight to this work in norway for three months without a resident permit so with me here guys i have my computer here we go to Type on your Google page, work in Norway without a resident permit. That brings you a lot of options out on your page. You can see people who can work in Norway for less than three months. Um, work, work and resident permit in Norway, work to apply. These are options that pop up. So select the first one, which is people who can work in Norway so select the first option which is people who can work in Norway for less than three months without a residence permit so guys I decided to type um, the short course which is work in Norway without a resident permit um, but normally you would have just typed the UDI dot NEO once you type it then that one to bring you out a lot of options that you keep on selecting before you get to this page so but to make the video shorter i shortened it by just going straight to work in norway without a resident permit so to bring you out on the page udi so on the page udi you will see people who can work in norway for less than three months 
without a resident permit there you see they are written their right tops which is normally nationals of country outside the eu and eea must apply for a resident permit for work purposes in norway in some cases you do not need a resident permit if you plan to work in norway for less than three months in some cases yes guys in some cases you do not so under it you see the right top you scroll down you see what is your occupation then you click on um, the occupations that suit you right so here are all the occupations that's we are listed right here researchers and lecturers employees of international companies technical experts commercial and business travelers medical petitioners religious preachers athletes and their accompanying support network journalists and photographers flight crew members on aircrafts in international traffic staff on foreign trains buses or trucks in international traffic crews on board laid up ships then the last one is tour guides today researchers and lecturers so under researchers and lecturers you will find out researchers and lecturers who are to work in norway for up to three months do not need a resident permit did you see that do not need a resident permit they do not need researchers and lecturers do not need a resident permit for the work you must be a researcher who at least have a bachelor's degree or a lecturer so lecturers this is also for you you can utilize this opportunity to come to norway and work at least for three months so after that one the other option is employees of international companies we click on it and we see some employees of international companies do not need a resident permit if they are to work in Norway for up to three months requirements for them which is you must be employed by an international company that has a branch in Norway you must be employed in the foreign branch of the company you are to participate in training in the Norwegian branch of the company so that's employees of international companies so that's the requirements you see technical experts that's the number three say so some technical experts do not need the resident permits if they if they are to work in Norway for up to three months if you are if you are to work in Norway up to three months that's your requirement is you need to be a technical expert you have to install disassemble inspect repair or perform maintenance on machinery or technical equipment you can also provide information about the use of such machinery or technical equipment by technical equipment is meant devices tools and it equipment etc software um the third requirement is you cannot have an employer in norway and the fourth requirement is the assignment you are to carry out cannot exceed three months remember this is for you to come to norway and work just for three months without a resident permit this means that the client cannot bring in a new technical expert without a resident permit if the assignment should take more than three months. You or your client must notify the police in writing before you enter Norway. So the next option, the next occupation is commercial and business travelers. This includes business travelers. 
beautiful family so in this one it talks about said some commercial and business travelers do not need a resident permit if they are to work in norway for up to three months if you are to work in norway up to three months you do not require a resident permit for it I work for three months in norway without a resident permit and the requirements are you must be a commercial and business traveler you cannot have an employer in norway then examples of commercial and business travelers are persons who are to attend meetings and conferences participate in contract related discussions shipping inspectors or veterinary inspectors persons planning to sell goods at trade fairs so that's for the commercial and business travelers the next one is medical practitioners under medical practitioners we have some medical practitioners do not need a resident permit if they are to work in norway for up to three months and these are the list of people that are listed for this opportunity the requirements are you have an employer or client in norway you have been issued the required authorization or license from the norwegian directorate of health so i think it's an, um, an external website when we, you click on this um, blue highlights here you will be able to find more things than the requirements needed for it that is why do yourself well to always research more when these informations are being given out take the clue and go in into your browser and search more research more on them so the next one is religious preachers religious preachers are not left out so my beautiful family religious preachers are not left out too says some religious preachers do not need the resident permits if they are to work in norway up to three months the requirements is the employer or client cannot need a preacher in this role for more than three months so the next one athletes and their accompanying support network so these are for athletes a footballer name it and uh, they said some professional athletes and members of this accompanying support network do not need a resident permit if they are to work in norway for up to three months and the requirements is as follow they said the athlete must work as an athlete for a living and the second requirements you cannot have an employer in norway so let's move to the third one which is journalists and photographers here they said some journalists photographers and other employees of foreign media institutions do not need a resident permit if they are to work in Norway for up to three months the requirements are you cannot have an employer in Norway and let's check out these tour guides okay tour guides accompanying foreign travel companies do not need a resident permit if they are to work in norway for up to three months requirements you cannot have an employer in norway these are the occupations listed here under it you will see want to apply options there applied received an answer want to renew and all that you go to want to apply you can scroll down to look more at the page to see what the page is actually talking about we see family migration 
residents according to the EU EEA regulations, visits and holiday, work immigration, AU pair, student permits, protection, asylum, permanent residence, citizenship lifting a prohibition against so a lot of options there so you can go through all of them he will go to work immigration so you go to the place that says register the information enter the citizen in your citizenship you enter for example we enter nigeria as our citizenship then we go to work immigration so if you click on the work immigration you also see um, a lot of options then consigning work immigration so you also see another similar a similar job that sounds like coming and working in Norway for three months without a resident permit the one that is the seasonal worker you click on it so the seasonal worker when you click on it you see you can be granted a resident permit as a seasonal worker if you are going to do a job that can only be carried out at a special time of the year or if you are going to work as a holiday standing for a permanent employee requirements under you to see you must pay an application fee you must on the application fee you see a highlighted blue line there when you click on it it will bring you out on how you can be able to go about the payment for the application fee then you see the second one you must be at least 18 years old the circumstances in your home country must indicate that it is likely that you can return home when you have completed your work in Norway. Please note, because of the circumstances in your home country, it may be difficult for applicants from your country to get a resident permit as seasonal worker we will always consider whether there is something specific with your situation that means that you can get a resident permit even though you as a general rule cannot get a permit as a seasonal worker you see the requirements relating to the job offer so they said you must have received a concrete offer of full-time employment so but this um seasonal worker you see where they said please note we said even as the rule pertaining the job itself cannot get a permit as a seasonal worker that's the rule as a seasonal worker here so when you go to requirements relating to the job um you see all the requirements there requirements of the employer so which here they said also they involves now here the employer must obtain confirmation from the Norwegian Labour and Welfare Administration that's now that is uh, that it is not possible to recruit enough workers from Norway or the EEA to perform the job if the work is in the agriculture or forestry industry it is not necessary to obtain confirmation from NAV rights and obligations the period you have the permit does not count if you later wish to apply for a permanent residence permit your family is not entitled to resident permit to come to live with you in Norway how to apply this video is for people who can work in Norway for three months without a resident permit if you wish to use this opportunity to come visiting Norway these occupations if any of them falls in line to what you do that means this information is basically 
for you you can use this opportunity grab it as fast as possible check out the udi and people who can come to norway as i showed you on the screen as i showed you here in this video on how you can be able to go about it familiarize yourself with the udi page and find out more on how exactly you can be able to go about it remember this video is just to give you an information and a clue that this type of things actually exist that you can do these things and grab the opportunities to visit Norway and work for three months in Norway and why I also included the seasonal workers they are not left out there also you have seen the work immigration we we'll also talk about that in more of our videos coming very soon to your doorstep but I included now workers also for you to see yes they may require resident permits but you saw the way they said that the rule is a resident permit may not be needed that means these things have their criteria their rules finding it so always familiarize yourself and read more go deeper into the information on UDI page and do yourself well to get seeing the real thing that you want for yourself please this brings us to the end of today's video thank you for always watching please for more detailed explanation to your questions you can follow me on my instagram page at madie i'll be leaving name on the screen here yeah. also like our facebook page at princess Ma tv guys more of this type of videos will be coming study in norway work in norway and a whole lot of good good videos with fully detailed information are packing up your way very soon so always do not forget to subscribe to our channel and thank you if you are watched up this time now you are highly welcome and thank you always for watching princess Mama tv we we'll always do our best to bring the best informations to your doorstep thank you for always watching princess Mama tv and have a nice day ahead Bye -bye.